Welcome back everybody, my name is Tim. This is another Real Ideal Gear Review and today we're looking at the AliExpress 1111 sale which is just right around the corner. And I've seen a few videos out there and one of the things I'm seeing that I'd like a little bit more information on even from other YouTube informational uh, channels and that is just some of the, the watches that they have from AliExpress that they are hanging on to, part of their collection. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the watches that I have in my collection, I think that are top tier watches, and uh, just share that information with you, why I think they're top tier watches, maybe their suggestions that will help you clarify what you're looking for in AliExpress's 1111 sale. Um, or maybe you're new to this and you just want a, uh, a couple of watches just to kind of get you started down that path. Um, I think there's some really good creative unique um, and really solid choices that are out there right now in AliExpress. And some of these have been around for years. Some of these are newer. Um, and so we're going to go through the, the collection that I have, and I'll just briefly talk about why these watches, I think, are a really good quality, a really good option for you. So let's get started with the watches that are under $100. So if you're looking for a great starter watch, there's none better than the Steel Dive. And the Steel Dive is one that just is outstanding as far as the overall specs on this. Great straightforward dive watch. Um, great 200 meters water resistance. The dial itself, I like this. This was my first uh, watch really where I bought that had a colored dial other than gray or white, black. You know, just kind of really neutral typical kind of dive watch colors um, great you know those are great legibility colors but i wanted something that was a little bit different so i looked for something with some color on it of course uh, the color that i chose was kind of a subdued yellow which i actually really like this yellow color a lot now legibility suffers a little bit as a result of that but i think it does a great job overall has a seiko nh35 movement 200 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal the loom on this watch is outstanding you can't beat the loom on this watch for this price at all um, um, is it, you know, a hundred dollar watch and evident? Yeah, you know, there's some things about it that may not be the best. The loom has different colors to it, but the loom lasts all night, which I think makes the watch even more useful for the long term. So I really like that a lot. The, the bracelet, um, I replaced it with a Strapco engineer bracelet, which I really like the look of it. It wasn't so much that the other bracelet was bad or anything like that. I just really like the look of this engineer style bracelet, put it on there. I think it's great. One comment I want to make, I think that was important around the clasp and that is to look for clasps that have at least four micro adjusts. It's not bad if they have three, and it's not you know something that's a, a no sale for me, or no buy, and like a restriction or anything like that. But having four micro adjusts or more just gives you more ability to fine tune the watch to your wrist. So this one has three, this is a strap code bracelet. This one has three, which means there's only two adjustments that you can actually make because one of them is currently being used, one of them's always being used. So that's something to keep in mind that you just don't get caught up in you know, a, a class that has maybe two micro adjusts and there are some of, their, some of those out there where you only have one option basically to adjust your watch a little bit. This one has two, I prefer to have four or more. I I think four is kind of the minimum as far as a really good standard for clasps. But I really like this watch, less than a hundred bucks. You can't go wrong with that watch. Up next is a dress watch the Pierre Pauline sector dial. I love sector dials. I think sector dials are awesome. This is that art deco look. You have the stepped bezel that goes up to a mineral crystal. You have the small second hand. This is a 21K movement, um, which means that there's it's a little bit of a noticeable tick to the second hand. If you had it on the center um, pinion, if it was you know, the big second hand, you'd see a little bit more of a ticking motion to that hand. But because it's in the small second hand uh, sub dial at the six o'clock position, it really looks like it's a smooth sweeping hand for the most part because it just doesn't cover as much ground. So you just don't notice it as much. So I think that's a great way to get around this. But the overall look of this watch is great. You have blued, uh, uh, skeletonized syringe hands, which really in the light really show off just a great blue color they're not i don't think they're heat treated blue i think they're probably just blue colored um, again less than a hundred dollars you're probably not going to get that great leather strap overall it's a manual wind um, good accuracy as far as i've had with this watch i have no issues with it it's a chinese manual wind movement and i gotta say something about the chinese movements um, there's a lot of concern out there and certainly those are, are somewhat justified 
But I think overall, they perform pretty well. And I think that's something you just have to keep in mind that that's part of the cost savings, part of the risk and, and reward type thing. Um, just, you know, go with it. I think this is a great overall watch for a dress watch, brushed case. You're just not going to get a lot of dings and scratches on here. They're going to be noticeable. So this is a great watch just to have around for the long term. Now, as far as a sport watch goes, there's nothing better than the Pagani 1717. And I truly mean that. I don't think I've seen one out there that has this quality built at this price with what I look at. It looks like there is a concave convex um, eye trickery going on with this dial because as you're looking at this dial you get a very deep sense to the uh, dial itself so high contrast dial you've got great hands very legible um, the loom on this one is really not very good at all but you do have some brushed finish some polished finishes this watch is really kind of your do-it-all style watch because this has got 200 meters of water resistance so you have no issues with water uh, issues as far as swimming getting it splashed on that whole thing at the same time, you can wear this for semi-formal occasions because there's enough polish on here, I think, to really justify that. And I, I use it for work. And for my work, it has a sapphire crystal. It's tough as nails, I think, and it has the uh, brushed side case on here as well. So overall scratches, I'm not that concerned about that with this watch. And again, less than $100 should be just totally fine. Now up for the dive watch, and I think this is probably the best dive watch in AliExpress. It's the, the San Martin SN0036. This watch is your quintessential dive watch. 300 meters of water resistance, sapphire crystal, excellent loom, excellent legibility. Just look at the color of this dial and the Fume color that turns a little bit darker on the edges, which just increases the contrast where you need it, which is where the hour markers are. And then you've got skeletonized hands, the hour hand, the minute hand, and you've got great loom on that. And you've got a, a lollipop second hand with a little red tip on the end. I, just fantastic. What I think really sets this off is some of the polish on here makes this more into a semi-formal type dive watch. Um, and there's also some brush or some polish, high polish in between the center links. And so as you look at this watch, as I'm kind of folding it through here, you're going to see a little bit of flash of light right in between, not on top, but in between the center links, which is just a great touch. Now, one of the things I look for now in the AliExpress watches, especially at this price range, is a on-the-fly adjustable clasp. And so when you look at this watch, it has that. There's a little button inside here that you can press, and it just helps ratchet your, uh, your strap or your bracelet so that it fits better under different circumstances. NH35 movement, reliable. It's really hard to go wrong. Actually, this you can get less than $200. Let's go to the military style watches, which we have a Flieger Type A, and this is the Rudland Turbine uh, Pilot. And this is a hand wind uh, Type A Flieger watch. And it's hand wound, which means it also has a display case back, which I think this is where, if you're going to get a display case back, there's really two reasons I would get a display case back with AliExpress watches. One is a manual wind movement like this or the ST1901 movement on a chronograph where you have all the different parts back here and that you can see them all move and shift around as you're starting, stopping, resetting, that whole thing. But even with a manual wind movement, I think this is, the, this is a great opportunity to get a display case back and really enjoy just kind of the movement itself. But the, the turbine you see down here at the small seconds, it has a little red dot on one of the fins. You can keep track of seconds if you really want to, but highly less legible, good loom, um, big dial on here, and a great leather strap. Again, this is a great option for a pilot military style watch. The best field watch out there, I think, is the Baltany Military Vintage Chronograph, which is a quartz movement, uh, sapphire crystal. By the way, all these watches, with the exception of that dress watch from Pierre Pauline, these are all sapphire crystals. Sapphire crystal quartz movement, which means you can use this. I use this out splitting wood. If I'm hammering on things, if I'm really getting to getting after something physically, like pounding, and, and uh, there's a lot of shock value to the watch, a quartz movement, I think, is a better option than a mechanical movement. It has screw-down pushers for the chronograph. It has a screw-down crown. Excellent, excellent loom. Chronograph, it has the quartz movement, which, you know, grab-and-go type setup. And then you have the military double-pass strap, which is great. Again, less than $150 for that. Chronograph, the Red Star 
bullhead chronograph. One of the most unique chronographs I've seen. I love this chronograph. I think this chronograph has a lot of great design features to it. It's probably not the most practical when you have the pushers and the crown on the outside part of your wrist. I think that's kind of a dangerous spot to have those things, especially if you're like me. And I, I'm doing some moderate stuff around the house, fixing things here and there. I may not wear it, wear it to work, but I may end up doing some things around the house. So I have to be real cautious about this. This is probably more of a uh, desk diver office type watch or maybe a, a date night watch or a formal watch than it is any anything else. I wouldn't really necessarily use this as a casual wear it around the house all the time watch. But it's a manual wind ST1901 movement, which means you get that great case back view of the movement itself. And you can see all the different parts you know, when you start and stop the chronograph and reset it, all the different gears are turning and the column wheel and everything. Great. The loom and the loom on this watch is, yeah, it's it's okay. It's more of a dress watch type loom. It's It'll last for a little while and go away, but it's certainly not an all-nighter. The subdials on this watch are excellent. Black subdials with white hands, high contrast. And this is where I think this colorway is better than the other brown version, which has, I think, not quite as a high contrast setup on the subdials. But it has your running seconds and then it also has a 30 minute counter at the top which is totally fine and then you've got the red second hand i love the red chronograph second hand down here again sapphire crystal 50 meters of water resistance i think that's a great buy um, and it's a great style watch that's that's the watch i think really pushing the style for me have something different but if you're looking for something a little bit more conservative check out this other chronograph which is the pierre pauline uh, vintage chronograph another st1901 movement and you can see the case back the display case back and same deal um, great pushers screw down crown 50 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal and the leather strap is the same one as the other P pierre pauline the sector dial same leather strap great quality leather strap i highly recommend Recommend that. Now the the San Martin. This is the watch that's kind of an enigma because they call this the pilot watch, but I think it's more of a field watch as far as design goes. And then when you look at the case more closely, it has a stepped bezel up to the crystal, which kind of lends itself to that Art Deco look. Um, so you have this Art Deco field watch, uh, kind of a sector dial look to it, and it really goes along with some of these other. Uh, uh, Art Deco style watches that I have and that I really like. And so when you look at these watches, they all have that kind of stepped bezel that goes up to the crystal and just kind of really sets it off into that early early 20th century look. But this watch is fantastic. 100 meters of water resistance. And when you look at the, uh, the sunburst dial on here, this deep blue sunburst dial, it is fantastic when it comes down to the to what it produces. And then you've got that second hand. If you look at the second hand, it starts out red at the tip and it graduates back to a white, uh, back to the center pinion. So you've got that little touch to it. And also on the quarter lines, so 12, 3, 6, and 9, you have a little red dot underneath each one of those. It kind of sets up that sector dial feel to it. Um, it's just a, it's a fantastic design, great movement, and it's 35 movement in here. So it's a solid, you know, good reliable movement in there so another great buy now the one i think that is just kind of yeah this one is definitely pushing the uh, homage limit for sure but it's still an homage in my opinion and that is the sujus su001 and we all know what this one looks like but what's cool about this is this is a, a, a automatic uh, movement an automatic mechanical movement and it's also a chronograph which is really a tough thing for for the designing of the movement itself to to be done so great movement inside here it's a chinese movement so yep they're taking their freedoms on setting that up as well and that's part of the part of the game i think um, but overall it has all the features that i think are really important for a watch that i would never be able to afford the original which is tens of thousands of dollars more than this and so i think this is a great compromise screw down pushers a screw down crown 100 meters of water resistance sapphire crystal it has an adjustable clasp um, it's just a great looking watch it's reliable it keeps good time if you have any comments on this put that down below um, the sale is starting on the 11th of november and it's just a really popular sale. I hope this kind of helps you look for certain things when it comes down to the style of watch. You know, get a good, reliable movement. I think the Seiko movements are great. ST1901 movements, you're, you're, they're overall, I think, are good. Um, but then it comes down, for me, it comes down to Loom. It comes down to Sapphire Crystal. It comes down to the Fit. And recently, it's been the uh, on-the-fly adjustable clasp. That's the, the latest thing that I'm looking for more. And if it has the micro-adjust, I'm just not quite as interested in that because... 
boy that on the fly adjustable clasp is really really handy so there you go that's my review my name's tim this has been another real ideal gear review we'll see you guys next time but the uh the small the, the um the sub dials <laughs> At the same time, you have this very nice rounded, uh, pronounced uh, crown, not crown, but uh, crystal. Um, and it's not really rounded, it's flat. Like there's this, there's a part of this that I just, there's just a, I don't know, a, what do you call that? Um, Freaking, what do you call it? It is, uh, that sleight of hand. Uh, what is it called? Frick.